All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it may be for you tankers. Uh, this is TLP Weasel 42. I, I've already attempted to do this garage showcase already this morning, but I believe I had an echo, so attempting it again. Um, just wanted to do a quick update on what's in my garage. I wanted to do this uh, as a routine. Uh, I missed last month, so I'm picking it up here for July. I just want to give you a quick rundown of what's in my garage, so when you're watching my broadcast, you can put in a request for a tank you saw that I had, uh, a tank that maybe you don't have but you wanted to work towards, get an opinion on it, see it in battle, um, or tank that uh, maybe I, I, a premium tank you want to know if it's worth spending the money on. But anyway, let's kick this off. I like to start with premium tanks because they don't change too much. You'll see the only thing new I will have is the Brazil, which I want I earned during that American month long op. Uh, it's, it's not my favorite tier 8 light tank by any means, but what's really nice about it is if you like light tanks and you need to make some money, you can play this and make some money. It's, it's a viable uh, money maker for a light tank. Uh, the, only, the only other one that comes anywhere near it is the Lycan, which I like more than the Brazil, but it just doesn't make as much money as the Brazil. So, uh, so there you go. I also earned the P95E2. I was able to earn the first and second place prizes for that month long off. It was, it was a lot of grinding that month. So this this one here is a very good uh, a very good tier eight premium tank that uh, that the Americans have. It's my favorite tier eight American premium tank for money and training and just all around playing. It, the Super Pershing is just too slow for me. The T34 is just not really my thing. So let's get moving on through this. I uh, don't believe there's any new British ones or German ones, so you can just read them as I go through them. Uh, the Champion still doesn't have a game played on it. <laughs> we'll do that one day. Um, French ones, not too many. Love my Russians. Love my Russians. Most of my comp competition tanks end up being Russians. And that's them. Next, I'll quickly show you the tanks that I've kept that uh, I finished grinding. They're either ones I really enjoy playing or they're ones that I needed for scrims and whatnot. Um, I'll go through those fairly quickly because they won't really change too much either. I've already gotten through uh, most of the tree lines. I'll show you that next. So, my favorite tanks are as my premium tanks show. Uh, my French ones, I love my French autoloaders, but my Russians. I love my R Russian LTTB, love the T-54 lightweight, T-44, T-54, all the mediums, uh, and then the, all the heavies, I mean, Russian, Russian tanks are where it's at, in my opinion. Uh, the Chinese are pretty good substitutes, especially the tier 9. I really like the tier 9. WZ, too many ones, as I've heard it called. And uh, finally, I'll just show you the ones that I am currently trying to finish off. These are my grind tanks. I play the daily double each day. I have five left, and these five represent the last five tier 10s I have to unlock. Uh, the AMX-30, which is almost done, and then I'll only have the other four. Uh, closing in on the Challenger, there's only 3,000 left, 3,617 left to do, and then that one will be on Tier 8 as well, and I'll only have four Tier 8s to finish. So that's my Garage Showcase, guys. Thanks for checking it out. Catch my broadcast, request something you saw here that you'd like to see. And we'll see you on the battlefield.